Good evening, Toastmasters. There is a famous video sharing website in China called Podato.com. Once, his manager got a chance to talk to Steve Jobs in describing his vision and operation. In the middle, Steve interrupted him. OK, stop. I know what you're doing. You're doing nothing but stealing. Huh. If anyone has been accused as a thief, you must be very upset. So did him. However, when he came back, he learned about the quote from Steve Jobs, saying, good artists copy, great artists steal. He was so happy because he has been labeled as great artist, <laughs> Steve Jobs. <laughs> OK, on one end, he was right. Because you may not know, the whole history about Silicon Valley has been filled with cheating, copying, and stealing. On the other end, he didn't get it. Because if the definition is about stealing and pirating stuff, then immediately every single Chinese becomes the great artist in the world. Okay. <laughs> Let's go back to the first one. Why is Silicon Valley being filled with cheating and copying? If I ask you, who invented graphical user interface? Most people say, Windows, Microsoft. Mac will say, ah, Macintosh, Apple. Unfortunately, none of them are right. Because 30 years ago, there was this rich neighbor called Xerox invented an incredible graphical user interface and left their door open. So Steve Jobs snipped in convinced their manager to show the technology to them. And he had his own version called Macintosh. Bill Gates following Steve Jobs and convinced Jobs that they were friends and brought several prototypes of Macintosh back to Seattle and had their own version called Windows. So which one is better? Hard to say. Simply because thief A first steals something from X and thief M steal something from thief A. It doesn't make sense if thief A is better than thief M. Let's put that aside and go back to the third second definition about stealing. Here, if stealing is not about pirating, then what does that mean? Let me tell you. Here, stealing means steal people's heart. Now we can make a, a significant distinction between Bill Gates and Steve Jobs. I'm going to nominate Bill Gates as a good artist. And no doubt about it, Steve Jobs is going to be our great artist. Let's start with Bill Gates. Steve Ballmer knows Bill Gates very well. And he described him in this way. He was the only person I ever known on this planet that could turn every human scenario into poker. The fact that the world is going to end here tonight, no problem. More poker. <laughs> so, when you play poker, what do you do? You foil an enemy and you beat them. There was this instant of creation that Bill Gates convinced IBM that they need a Microsoft to develop something called DOS for them. Okay, at that moment, there was nothing. Not a damn thing on this planet called DOS exists. <laughs> Later on, Microsoft approached that an operating system from a poor man at expense of $50,000 and name it DOS. If you look at the history of Microsoft, DOS, Windows, Office, Internet Explorer, .NET Framework, none of them are the original idea from Microsoft. They are a good artist who keep an eye on the market and see what people need and they have their own version, and they sell it, and dominate it. If you ask a good artist to sell this product to you, he's going to talk about the fancy interface, the awesome functionality. But if you ask Steve Jobs to sell these things to you, he's not going to talk about those nonsense. <laughs> he's going to tell you, we're not talking about a phone here, not even an iPhone. We are talking about rewriting human thoughts. We're talking about creating a completely new consciousness, like an artist and a poet. We're reading histories that has never been written on the page, and we're trying to figure out what people are going to want. 
before they realize it. So, about Steve Jobs, everything, when he designed a product, it's like some sort of crusade. You have the raw materials in on one end, and on the other end, you have silicon art. To him, all he wants is beauty, and everything else is incompetent. That's why he could drive thousands of miles from California to Oregon just to give her daughter a name, Lisa, even though at that time he denied that that was her daughter. Why? Because he believed a name, a good name, is a label for a child, and a bad name keep that child as an outsider. And a great artist can never tolerate an outsider. What they want is to roll musicians, artists, even zoologists, and scientists into one. And they want to achieve perfect. So, if you ever want to be the next Steve Jobs, the first thing you want to ask yourself, am I an artist? Am I a great artist? Am I a great artist to steal people's hearts? Am I create a silicon art or just replicate a silicon product? On the other hand, if you want to be next Bill Gates, the first thing you want to ask yourself is, where is the poker? Thank you.